Still, I haven't been out fishing for probably a week or so, so I'm sort of like uh, chomping at a bit. Hey guys, welcome back to The Occasional Angler and I really appreciate you choosing to tune in and watch my videos. Over the last month, it's been pretty uh, hectic for me fishing wise. It's been brilliant really. Um, I had a couple of really nice sessions, um, went down to a local lake and had some carp on lures, which is a first for me. And before that, I also had just the most amazing session, perch fishing, where I caught five perch, um, uh, including a 50 centimeter perch, which was just phenomenal. And I got into the angling times for that. So I was like really, really pleased with that. So one of my articles is in there, which is nice. Um, now for me, it's mid trout season, or at least uh, I'm well into my trout river season at the moment. So um, I've dusted off the fly rod and I've been going down to the river and going fly fishing. So in this video, that's what I'm going to be doing. I'm going to be trying to find where the trout are on my local river, doing a lot of short sessions down there over my lunch breaks. So come and join me. So I'm just using a little hairs ear, hairs ear nymph here. Um, that's what I'm going to do. Just make sure you have a little uh, bit of a loop on there to let it just flop around a bit. Um, who knows? This is the worst visibility I've I've had on this river in this section, anyway. Um, so this will probably affect things a bit, at least. Um, but relatively big, whatever it is. Huh. I think it's a chub. I can't quite tell. Is that a chub to me? Yes, it's a chub. Hmm, quite a reasonable size one though. Oh, people say that chub don't fight that hard, but I think they fight really hard. <laughs> there we go. about two pounds, two and a bit pounds, but they really fight. I love them. I absolutely love them. They're such cool fish. Like people over overlook chub a lot. Quite highly predatorial. I'll catch these on crankbaits and lures uh, at the beginning of the season. I mean, this is a relative baby. You know, I'll be expecting to catch some up to six, six pounds. Um, as the season opens up, but still an absolute stunning fish, I think. Okay, well, there we go. On my lunch break, little fish, I'm happy. 
go home, go back to work. <laughs> okay, let's put this fish back. Oh, we're in, we're in, we're in. What have we caught? Huh, tiny little chub. Well, there we go. Here's the show. Tiny little chub, look at that. Worth, worth doing that. Um, okay, what have we things just to get that out it's a barbless fly but oh there he goes huh. something big here guys, I don't quite know what we've just hooked. We've hooked something really big. What is it? What the hell is it? I have no idea what this is. Chub. Okay. God, it felt really big for a second now. I thought we hooked something really massive. Oh, nice size. Oh, it's still a nice size chub actually. Wow. Okay. Yeah. There we go. Oh, that's a beauty. That's an absolute beaut. Okay. So what have we got here? So you've got burrowing mayfly in this little pot. We've yeah. got some blue winged olive here. Loads of case caddis. Oh, Caseless caddis. Freshwater shrimp. Damselfly nymphs. And then this here is a little collection of all different where case caddises have gathered together. Um, and quite a few of them are hatched out. So this one's come right onto a piece of well, mm -hmm. reed, I think, and then hatched out. Um, and then there's all sorts of got minnows, baby ball heads, and there's loads still in there. Oh, you got little day. ball heads in there, have you? Yeah, they're tiny little ones in here. Absolutely tiny. We did get. Hey guys, I wanted to quickly chat to you about the equipment which I've been using while I've been filming. Um, so the fly rod which I've been using is a Sage TC. TCX and it's a five, a five weight rod. Um, I built this rod myself, um, a very, very nice blank, but a um, bit unforgiving, but it can really punch out those roll casts. Um, the reel which I use is um, a Lampson Conic, um, which is, uh, Lampson stuff's really good. Again, fly fishing wise, really, the, the reel only holds the line, doesn't really need to do anything else. Probably the most important, singularly most important thing, other than the actual fly, is the line which I'm using on this, which is Rio uh, outbound line, I think it is, or Rio fly line anyway. Um, it's excellent, really, really good. It's a weight forwards um, floating line, which means the, the weight is at the front of the head and it's a floating line, so it stays on the surface. Perfect for what I'm doing. Um, and it means that you can sort of load up for those quick short casts, a lot of roll casts, brilliant for that kind of thing. Um, the other stuff which I've got, which I was going to show you, 
um, fly box which I use. Okay, so I just have one fly box. It's a Witchwood uh, Clearview box. There's a lot of people who make similar ones. You can get them off AliExpress. Um, one side opens up like so, and um, you can have all of your um, nymphs in there. It's, it's uh, foam, um, so you can just sort of put them straight in there. Dries on the back like that. Uh, the last thing is my vest. So I use a Sims guide vest. Um, I've got Sims little clippers here. I've got um, a little magnet bit at the back for my, my net. And it's a McLean uh, net, which I've got, which is an extendable one. Uh, I try and keep it as light as possible. And all of that works really, really well. So I hope that helps you guys um, if you're thinking about getting some fly gear. First out of the pool. Oh, how did that not happen? That's a take. That's a take. Okay, guys, so I've seen some fish sitting up a bit further up here. Um, I'm just going to be really, well, I'm trying to be really subtle. I just want to get into the river here and wade up to them. Um, so we'll try Mayfly as it is May. I've actually seen some Mayflies around, so why not? Yes! <laughs> yes! Yes, yes, yes. There we go. There we go. There it comes. Whoa. How was that? That was a fish we were after. That. Oh, lovely. Wow, well, that's pretty cool. And look at that. Right in the mouth. Right there. Beauty. So, here we go, guys. Look at that. Beautiful chub. Absolutely pristine. Probably about three pounds, I'd say. We just had it on a mayfly, which was this. <laughs> Thought it was um, some. I could see dark shapes. I couldn't see what fish they were. It turns out they're chub. Hey guys. So we've just taken beautiful little chub. No, he's not that little. He's pristine though. Um, we've just taken that on a mayfly just from underneath the tree over there. Beautiful, look at that. They're such good fish and they fight like stink. Really cool. Right, let's put them back. There we go. Good sized chub, that's a really good sized chub. I mean, he is probably four it's about four pounds, four and a half pounds. Big, big, big chub. Just look at this absolute beauty. That's about he's a big, he's a big chub. He's probably about four, 
four and a half pounds. These are really heavy set. Look at the colour of this fin, it's beautiful, crisp. You know, this is a pristine fish, absolute pristine. Um, let's put them back. Here we go, here we go. We just caught just caught a lovely brown trout. Oh no! Oh what? That was a really nice brown. I can see him here. It'd been really tough trying to locate the trout on the river and to lose one right at the net like this at the end. Well it was really tough. But I pulled myself back together and tried one more time down at the mill. So I'm watching that, the tip of the line. Oh, that was definitely a take. Oh, oh. I just missed a really nice rainbow. Oh. A really nice brown trout. A really, really nice one. Oh, how gutting is that? I had him on for two seconds. He didn't really take it. Like there was no indication of it. Um, I just sort of pulled the line up, and like it was solid, but I hadn't struck it. Oh. That's really frustrating. I definitely freaked him, so he probably won't be coming back. beauty and look at the tail on that that's a, got a big tail so that's a wildy pretty certain that's a wild brown trout right let's go and get some photos look at that look at that absolute beautiful fish look at that absolute stunner of a fish beautiful just took him on a hare's ear out of the mill pool out there. So we've waded through all the chub, roach, some perch. And here we go. Look at that. Absolutely beautiful fish. Right. Oh. And he's gone. <laughs> Oh well, I was going to try and do a release photo, but <laughs> they do jump. Um, that was brilliant though, how cool is that? Um, I really, really been trying to get a nice brown chat out of here for a while. That one was well worth it, so really, really pleased. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, please like and subscribe. Um, I'm still growing my channel a lot and um, I really like comments. I'd love you guys to comment. Tell me what you think. Tell me what I'm doing wrong, what I should be trying differently. I really want to hear from you. So put your comments down below and um, I'll get a new video out. I usually try and get one out once a week. So again, tune in in a week's time and have a look. Okay, all the best.